Well, I always had an interest in language and, and the, 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 these words that were considered dirty. The left side of my brain is very active. I like classifying and indexing and filing. That's why I have a lot of files in my computer. It's why my material works because I, 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 the right brain is the creative guy, creative lady, let's say, cre you know, throwing shit up in the air. And the left side says, okay, where does that fit? How does that go? Let's call that something. Let's give it a label. Let's put it with other things that are similar. Let's match them up. Okay, these go together, you know? It's like an empire building thing. So the left side of my brain got curious about which words you could never say on television. Because I would notice, I mean, it was just common knowledge, but I noticed it specifically, that you could talk about a, a female dog and say the bitch. The bitch is in heat, and that was okay on television if you were in that context. And the uh, bastard was okay if you were talking about William the Conqueror, it's William the Bastard, uh, or the bastard son of so-and-so. You could say that in context. So I knew the words weren't. I said, well, those words aren't bad words then. They're an ass. You could say, yes, Jesus rode into Nazareth on an ass. And come is okay if you, you know, he's, I'm going to come in the house in a minute. Uh, so... Uh, I, I said, let me, let me separate these. Which ones don't have saving meanings? Which ones don't have a saving grace to them? And I tried to isolate them. Well, balls is okay. Box is okay. Snatch is okay. Pussy is okay. Cunt? No. Doesn't have another meaning. Cunt is on the list. Fuck. Hump has got a meaning. Lay. Screw. Ball. All of those have other meanings. They're not the, it's not the words. It's the idea. What's the word? Fuck. That's the word they don't like. It's not the idea alone. It's the idea plus the word. And that appealed to my sense of indexing. And I separated them. And I began, then I put down those ideas into language that was entertaining. The jokes were self-evident. And I could make joke. I could build on that. Because I could say, for instance, it's okay to say, uh, in a Walt Disney movie, it's okay to say, let's, let's, let's crack open the box that the pussy is inside. Let's, let's put a crack in the box that the pussy's inside. I forget how that was, but I had this whole sentence of these filthy words, if you said them the wrong way, perfectly innocent if you said them the right way. So those, that was the joke builder there. But, but the language guy was interested in the words, and, and the thinker was saying, look, you got a dichotomy. What is, so you don't mind fucking, it's just you don't like to call it that. You don't mind intercourse, you say that, but you don't like fucking. But if, even if I'm not talking about fucking, I can't say fucking. If I say, who the fuck are you, that's got nothing to do with sex. But you don't want me to say that. So it's the word. It's the word. And these were the seven I could come up with that you could never say. Never, never, never. Now, piss has changed. They were shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. And I had a lot of fun with tits because it's an innocent-sounding word. But you couldn't say it at that time. Piss. Interesting development. Piss is now okay on television if you're pissed off, but not if you're pissed on. In other words, if you change the preposition, you get in trouble. It's all right for me to say to you, why are you pissed off at me? But you can't say, because you pissed on me. You can't say that. So it's just a preposition. The word's the same. So anytime there's inconsistency, anytime there's inconsistency that leads to hypocrisy, the, uh, inconsistency is just a wonderful thing to catch, to, to say, wait a minute, I gotcha. You know, you said this and then you said that and they don't go together, you know. So that's what I love is that gotcha moment when you catch the culture with its pants down.